Okay. Um, let's go out. I hope we can't. Yeah, we can't. It's good. Found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff, and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? Uh, protect her, no matter what. Protect her, no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Kachina, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Yeah. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Um. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Huh. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plate. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Um, just can you, can you hear me nice? He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. He's a lifesaver. You got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Okay, that's the door. Need to open the door. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Yeah, we need to open the door. But we ha we have nothing. Hey there, Andy. Yep. Ah, uh, you got screwdriver. You got a screwdriver? For what? Uh, uh, never mind. Danny mentioned he needed something. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. So, uh, now we must open the door. Or, no, we have nothing to open the door. Let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Oh, huh. to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while and raid our stuff, even with the fence. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. Um. Let's go back. Now it's stay. Oh. a woman like yourself run this whole place. Oh, I managed just fine. Plus, I had my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Nothing. 
thing there. Lots of hay. Uh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for barrels if that becomes a problem. Okay. Over there, right? Yeah. Let's go to this lovely place. Oh, there, there was Lily. Really? Oh yeah. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? Um. Oh. Maybe something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about leaving the motor in? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Yeah, um... What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Yeah, it looks like. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So he's the asshole. Does he treat you look that too? Does he treat you like that too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. Okay. He's been through so much lost pretty much everything and it's hardened him you know yeah he's bitter and hateful but that's all just to protect himself and me all he's got left in the world is me that goes both ways so yeah he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about so don't judge him don't judge me for sticking by him he's my dad and I love him oh sweet I'm starting to think they may be hitting something. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Yeah. Uh, what's that? Casebo. Wait. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Yeah. And now there's nothing. Right there. Cronfield. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Uh huh. Fine. So let's move back. But what we can do here generator take it on no take it on ah no let's go back okay We need a screwdriver for this. It's that toolbox? <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, you know. Just gonna borrow this for a second. Okay. We borrow it. So now we need to take this off. <laughs> Look here at the generator. Okay. 